All the way, all the way, oh, this is all you've ever wanted from me. Like lately, all the videos, even if it has nothing to do with flash modding iPods, it's like, do a two terabyte iPod. Well, here it is. And don't think I've tried this. Look, these are sealed. We're gonna experience this together. But what are you gonna put these in? You just killed your seventh gen iPod. And it's true. She's cooked, mate, it's over. I had a look at it and uh, yeah, it won't recognize click wheel. It won't even recognize buttons. It won't recognize lock and unlocked. Basically, the motherboard is cooked. It's it's worse than cooked. It's overcooked. Which got me panicking. The whole point of last week's video was to get this thing ready to put the two terabytes into. This is over, right? This is all finished. F in the chat. So I rushed onto eBay to find a replacement, but some jerk has gone ahead and put too much storage in these seventh gens and made them accidentally popular and overpriced. You know, this jerk's planning some video just to one up this, just for the memes, you know? I hate this guy. So I literally, I couldn't find one on eBay for a decent price, I went on to Facebook Marketplace. That's right, they'll steal your data, but you can get a pod. It's in its box. It was a good price and it comes with a sock. Lovely. This thing works great. Nice sticker. Cable is a bit trekked though, but that's fine. It's not, it's just what they do. So today's mission is simple. I want to see if it can handle the two terabytes, if it can do it. Got the iFlash quad. You know, link in the description if you want to get one of these. Super cool to put four micro SDs into an iPod. And I'm, I'm gloving up for this because I, I, I hate opening this generation iPod so much. And this just gives me a little bit of extra grip with them because they're like slippery little hateful bars of soap. <laughs> oh, third week in a row. Here we go. I mean, I'm going to get good at this now. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, good. Oh yes, yeah, taste it. Oh, gosh, this is hard work. Oh, we're gonna have to use the pro strat. It's pro strat time. Thank you, pro strat. Oh, I bent the case. <laughs> Oh god, such hard work. I want this to be the last time forever. You quit it. Get out of the way. Oh yeah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Victory! Oh let me in! Let me in! Yes! <laughs> oh god, it's hard work every time. There she blows. This is a good drive too. Honestly, that's the scariest bit right there, is just getting this far. Uh, I pro it a little bit hard, but I think it'll be fine. It's time to open these. It, we, we can't just use, you know, these scissors. We gotta use some nice ones. Yeah. See, these are the nice ones. I'm not cutting through anything, am I? <laughs> Whoa, yeah! Hey, see? Good thing we had the good seeds. Oh, it's got some power in them. Yeah, yeah! Right, so first thing we've got to do with these fresh little guppies is we got to format them. It's just the best thing you could do is just to give them a format. Some people try and jump straight in and wonder why they don't work very well. So you want to have something with a micro SD card or adapter or whatever. You know, here's a USB-C one, you know, for a MacBook. That's nice. Uh, you can get cheap crap ones like this if you want to. Or in our case, the Shrek Green iPod Shuffle here can actually, it works really good as a little micro SD card reader. Shrek Green Shuffle. I'm going to call it the Shrekle. Let's give the Shrekle a go. It could read the 256 gig card, so let's see if we can do 512s. <laughs> Whoop. Oh yeah, 512. Go Shrekle. Do it. Handle that 512. Don't just sit there doing nothing. Yo. Yes. Shrekle, Shrekle, go! Oh, Bobby, this is slow. <laughs> well, alright then, in the time it's taken to get nowhere, I've already found my laptop and formatted these three. So, eh, time's up, Shrekle, you're done, mate. You know what? 
I'm gonna demote you. Oh, it's, it's like loading a weapon. Oh, think of all the memes we can fit on this thing. If it works. I don't think so. All right, bit of gaffo tape, mate, to put on the back of this. Okay. See what iTunes does. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, good. Restore it. Oh, yes, please. Oh, I hate that. That's so unhelpful. Oh, it begins. Okay. So the way this board works is it's turning those four micro SD cards into one kind of signal for the computer and the iPod to read. So let's see if we can format it in disk utility. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Uh, untitled's fine. Yeah, go on. Come on, you. Look into the pit of OBS. Come on, you. <gasps> whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, let's leave the pits of OBS. Uh huh. Yeah, restore it. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Yes! Go! Oh, <laughs> come on! Oh, it restarted! Oh, whoa, it's doing the thing! <laughs> no way! Oh, what? Hang on. iTunes is telling me no, but this guy's telling me something else. I've never seen this get to the loading bar, but then iTunes say it didn't work. Um, oh. Uh. Uh, hang on. I'm not, I'm ignoring iTunes. Hang on. This is taking forever, by the way. Oh no. Why? Oh, why is. Okay, alright, it's a sign. It's, it's a. It's a start. It can smell the two terabytes in there. It can smell it. We just need it to taste it. Appears we corrupted. Blah, blah, bling, bling, blah. Yes, please restore. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. I'm just pacing around the room. I feel like I'm expecting dad or something. Burst me a two terabyte baby! <gasps> it's no way. Oh man, if this works. <gasps> oh man, if this works. Cause I was just ready just to have it like, I don't know, one and a half terabytes or something. Come on iTunes. Spin that pinwheel. Generate the electricity needed. I assume that's what that's doing. Oh, I don't like this. Don't leave me hanging like this. Oh. Uh-oh. Don't tell me it's frozen. That's not good. I'm not talking about the movie. You know, let's, let's unplug this. Let's just let it boot naturally, all right? Natural. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> All right, we are halfway there. It can, it's tasting that two Terry March, mate. And yes, I know I've triggered so many of you by writing 2,000 gigabytes in the title. People saying, oh, it's technically more than 2,000. Well, you know what? After formatting, it's actually less. So everyone's wrong. Happy? It can taste it, but now she's got to take a bite. Come on, iTunes. Come on, iTunes. I don't think this computer likes having an iPod plugged into it with double the storage that this thing has. It is not appearing. <laughs> that is not good. The iMac is flat out having nothing to do with it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Last, last row here. All right, so we're gonna do a reset and we're gonna boot in the disc mode. There it is. It's here. Look at that, two terabytes of it are uh, iPod. Very good, Mac OS, thank you. Come on, show me an iPod. Show me an iPod. <laughs> show, don't ignore it. You know, things are getting desperate when I bust this cable out. We're gonna try and restore this on my newer MacBook BRB. All right, 
I think the new Mac did it. I think the new Mac did it. Here we go. Huh, that is odd. I had this running on the other one. Oh no. No, I wanna do it on this one. Oh, do we dare do this again? I know I don't, shouldn't have to do this. <laughs> this is taking so long. <laughs> this is a really big video for me. Yeah, see look, it's working. The newer Mac without iTunes saw this no problems. Wow, the whole world's been flipped inside out at the moment. iTunes is now less compatible than Finder in Mac OS. Oh, whoa, I take it all back. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, this isn't the Dank Pod Pro. This is the Dank Pod Max. <laughs> oh, come on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put 30,000 tracks on here, which is an enthusiast level of music, right? And then for the rest of this storage, I'm just gonna load it like a hard drive. And we're gonna see if this guy can handle being a big old music player and video player. We're gonna fill it full of videos and then being a storage device as well. <sighs> Cue the music, this is gonna take forever. Look at this sexy speaker here. Power on. Oh. Bluetooth mode. Yeah, baby. Give me that auxiliary mode. Auxiliary mode. Mm. Bluetooth mode. What? You cheating hussy. Auxiliary mode. Yeah, you said it. All right. Oh, wow, there's so much free space. Shuffle. Oh, like a champ. Let's pass the first test. All right, she works. Well, now I've got to spend forever putting, what, one and a half terabytes of junk on it to test if it could be a hard drive. So I'll see you in forever. Oh. Forever has passed. Oh man, has it. It has survived the night. Yes, it did. And I bet so many of you want to know what's the limits of these guys? Like, how far can you push it? And you know, funny enough, before I broke the one terabyte iPod, that's exactly what I was trying to figure out. Everyone says that the limit is 50,000 tunes, but I was having issues before that. It would skip to track zero. Like, it reminded me of my Pokemon Blue when I caught Missing No, and all of a sudden everything gets really weird. And at 48,000 tunes, when you disconnected it from a computer, it would do a hard reset and crash. And let me tell you, when it hits that Apple logo, it just sits, it could take five to 10 minutes to actually get back to where, to where you started. And so if you're going for a walk and it decides to do that, your walk could be over by the time the iPod boots up again. But I kept pushing, you know, past 50,000 tunes. And at this point it was kicking itself out of the computer. And it was so frustrating because I couldn't just click, you know, fill the iPod and just have it put all of my music in there and see what happens. Cause it would crash way before that. And if that happened and it didn't finish syncing, you just get this big slab of other. You have to start all over again. So let me tell you, to, get, to creep this up, it took weeks, weeks! I had to do it genre by genre, playlist by playlist, because I had to let it finish syncing every single time and I had to check to see if it kept working. I squeezed 65,000 tracks onto it and at this point, it was over. And that was it, you wouldn't get any further than this. It was it was finished. I even started all over again with 512 gigs into it just to give it a helping hand That's why people noticed in the last video It only had two SD cards in there because that's what I was doing I was giving it every chance it could because the limit of these guys isn't how much storage they have It's how much RAM they have and they just can't count the songs anymore. You know, it's, it's from 2009 this thing. It's just got no chance And so let me show you what I've put on this guy iTunes, okay, there it is. Oh man, yeah, it takes a while for it to load. All right, let's have a look here. Nearly 300 gigabytes of music. 
Holy smoke! Like nearly twice its capacity in music. Another 458 videos on top of this, 107 gigs. And then you look, a massive 700 gigs of hard drive whatevers. That's as much as I could squeeze onto it at the moment. This is literally, and I'm not lying, my entire iMac on here. <laughs> and then look, it's still got 800 gigs free. <laughs> <laughs> We're just past halfway. As I was saying, with the one terabyte iPod when I had too much music on there, I mean, that's why I put 35,000 tunes on there because that seems like a really good spot to be. And man, that's so much music. All right, let's hit eject here and let's see if this thing crashes when it jumps out. Oh, epic. Let's just go straight to shuffle. Boom. That is so good. Let's just go straight to a video. Yeah, go on. Boom, straight in, so good, out. This thing is running fantastic. It takes a little bit to take it out of the computer, but you know, let's pop it back in and let me show you what I've actually got on this thing. Look at this, my entire music discography is on here. Like, uh, you just click on whatever, like. Yep, works fine. Yep, that works. All right, dumb and dumber, does that work? There you go, like outstanding. And then we hit eject. I'm calling that a win. 1,102 gigs being used and it runs great. It's got my entire discography of music, like 80,000 tracks sitting in there. So you can just plug this into a computer and just access it. That is, for a device that's from 2009, 11 years old, that is stout. And given my history of trying to get stuff onto these, and you could see like, it took weeks to get up to that 65,000 tunes. Trust me, it was a nightmare. And the fact that I've got this running reliably with this much stuff on it, I'm totally gonna keep putting stuff on there. But from this point on, I'm gonna have to do it really slow and gradually to find out when it really cacks it. But the fact that it even recognizes two terabytes, I'm blown away. Well, there's one more thing left to do. Oh yeah. Considering these like space gray or whatever ones will really show scratches, I, I did okay. I was a bit rough with it, but I did okay. So huge thanks to my patrons, but honestly, this was only possible thanks to you guys. This was so expensive. And the fact that I had to buy a whole iPod just to make this happen. But hey, that was my fault, wasn't it? So, you know, thanks so much for patrons, especially these guys right here. At $1 a month, I've got extra videos on there. You head over to the Patreon, you know, send me a DM. I, at least I could do is send you a thanks for you know helping me out because again couldn't do this without you guys heaps of videos left to come we are look just getting started and so thanks again and i'll see you on the next one you may take your place amongst the gods you've done well